Hey, what's happening, guys? My name is Saurav, and welcome back to another video, Film Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create MS SQL database in GoDaddy. So, to create a database, all you have to do is that just log in to your GoDaddy account and just go to My Products. And here, you will be. You just need to click on Web Hosting and then click on Manage. Once you click on Manage, you will be redirected to this page wherein you have to click on this databases. Just when you click on this one. you will be redirected to this page wherein you will be if you already created some databases so you can just see all the list here and if you don't have any uh, like database so you can just click on this add database so the subscription that i have basically i can create only one ms sql database that i have already created here as you can see it so that i cannot create like one more sql server uh so i i would like to show you like how we can basically do it but th there is already some data that are available in this database so i cannot even remove it to show you but yes i can just show you like what exactly the configuration that you have to choose everything will be same you just need to choose a server name so now here you can see that the server name is basically this one where in the port number is 1433 so this is something that you have to choose while creating the ms sql database and just make sure that it is defined like ms sql data sql server So if I just try to click create a new database here, you can see that by default I'm getting this. That is basically Pakona. When you try to create a MS SQL, you will be getting a sort of drop down wherein you can choose this server basically. That is basically this one. So I've already created the like the one. That's why I'm not getting that option. But yes, uh, you have to choose that that one. You have to give the database name. You can just give any name like sort of. um let's suppose or of db or something if you would like to link it to the website that you have already created or you have purchased you can basically you know choose a choose a site from the drop down and here you have to give the username and the password so once you're done with it like just click on okay and your database will be created in order to connect to the database all you have to do is that now go to the go back and here we have the connection info once you click on it here you can see that like we have the host name that is basically server and the database name the username and the password so all you have to do is that just launch ssms since this is a shared server so you have you will be getting like lot of databases that are already available to the server so i've already given the server name you don't you don't have to copy the uh, port number that is basically with a colon and 1433 you don't have to include that just the server name tell dot net and here you have to choose sql authentication and here give the username and password So uh if i just quickly enter the password here and now i'll just quickly click on options and here we have the connection properties if i quickly uh click on the drop down and if you click on browse server and click on yes and this will basically load all the databases that are present in the server now you can see that like here we have user database and you can see that like all the databases server that are present you can see it here so we like we have created with the name like bmhs project and we will be we can just see that project here if i just quickly scroll down a bit which starts with b so here we have pm hs project so this is our database server we'll just click 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 on okay and we'll click on connect so once we do that like here you can see that like our database is basically connected and this is basically taking some time because my internet connection is a bit slow or maybe this is due to like there like lot of databases that are present in the server and here it's basically expanding and again i can see all the servers here like all the so i mean databases here so this will take some time so this is how you can basically connect create database in godaddy and how you can connect it to your local uh ssms tool guys so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful to you so don't forget to like subscribe and i'll sort of you and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye bye